Oh. Oops. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm trying to make everything not sound as sarcastic, but you know, it's not really working. Anyhow, hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another DIY video because I don't know what else to do. Just kidding, I have a lot of other things that we could be doing. So I thought it would be fun to DIY some of the trendy clothing or whatever that's really popular right now. I mean, some of this stuff I can't DIY. Like, I'm not gonna DIY a plaid skirt and I'm not DIYing bike shorts and I'm not DIYing anything that's complicated because that's too complicated. This stuff I decided to DIY because A, I'm capable of doing it and if I'm capable of doing it then you are more than enough fleet ball of doing it or so let's get started with the DIYing process. There's a lot of stuff on here. Where do we begin? Um we're not beginning with any of the hard stuff. So let's start out simple. The first trendy thing that I thought would be fun to DIY is some plaid shorts. Plaid shorts, they aren't really the most, like, I mean, they are uh, trendy-ish, I guess, but they're also easy, too. And you know, if you've ever been to a pajama store or a department store that sells pajamas or looked at pajamas or worn pajamas, you probably would know that the most common pajama pattern is plaid. So I bought some plaid pajama shorts off of Amazon. And we're gonna be DIYing these. And by DIYing them, we're literally just cutting these men's shorts to be a little bit shorter. But wait, let's first try them on to see where they fit so I don't just cut all the leg off and then the video is gonna get demonetized. I'm gonna cut a good, I don't know, nine inches off. So if you're above the age of, I don't know, four, you probably know how to use scissors. So all you're gonna do is cut the shorts off to the right length. And you know, if you want to be really, really extra, you can sew a hem onto this, but I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing that. that. And what to do with all the extra fabric? Done. Shorts completed. And yeah, the tag's still on it, but I don't care. So cute. Your perfect high-waist shorts that you can go wear to a photo shoot and be like, look at my high-waisted plaid shorts that I made myself. But let's try them on and make sure they work. This is a bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. And you can see them. Ta-da! These actually are really cute. Don't stand on a solo chair, people. Do not try that at home. But look how cute these are. First DIY, check, success. The next thing, we're gonna get a little bit more complicated. All you need for this one is an old pair of jeans or shorts or a new pair of jeans or shorts or pants, whatever. Floats your boat, man. But for this, we're gonna be picking up our brushes and we're gonna be painting. If you've been on Pinterest, you've probably seen those pictures of jean pockets being painted some sort of fun design or color or whatever. So what are we gonna do? Paint the pockets of these jeans to make the trend factor go up about 106%. The pattern we're gonna be painting into these pockets are a checkerboard pattern. When I took art class, we used masking tape to make the line straighter. So that's how we're gonna do this. Ta-da! I duct taped the whole pocket. And if this doesn't make sense now, then I don't know if it'll make sense later. But I'll be painting in the like whole things and then take the duct tape masking tape off. It'll kind of create a checker pattern. And I'm only doing one pocket because I don't want to do the other one. Okay, let's get painting. Okay, we're done with the white. I know you're probably supposed to wait for it to dry to take off the masking tape, but I'm impatient, so we're taking it off now. Um, I kind of think I messed this up. Oh no, uh oh. <laughs> See, anything above the essential step of cutting something, I'm incapable of. 
<laughs> that just looks like some kid decided to put a bunch of white out on something. Okay, we're gonna try to fix this. Oh my gosh, okay. So there were kind of some difficulties with that one. It took probably like 30 minutes, but that's the finished product. I'm holding it back here because it looks a lot worse up close. See, from the back it looks all right, but then the closer you move up, the more errors there are. So maybe go make some of these, maybe paint better. If and the next thing, we're going back to cropping something because that is a lot easier and it's just a snip, snip, snip. We're gonna crop a cardigan because those are back in style, but crop this time. So I ordered this random red cardigan off of Amazon. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I look like a teacher. Hello class, everyone sit down. Okay, ready for cropping. Once again, cutting something, you can figure that out on your own. Looks good. It's a little bit rough around the bottom, but who cares? Let's try it on and see if it looks as cute as the Brandy Melville ones. This is cute. It's really soft. You know, I'm actually gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear these with the pajama shorts out in public and everyone's gonna be like, No, why did you get your cool outfit? And I'm gonna be like, well, guess what, sweetheart? I made it. So it's one of a kind. Okay, let's continue. Next things are gonna involve this, the iron. And what are we doing? We're ironing on patches because why not? So the first thing I got is this lovely white tank top from Walmart. And the other thing is this black t-shirt from Target. And I also ordered these trendy little patches on Amazon. And if you recognize this butterfly patch, it's because it's literally everywhere. Everywhere. First thing we're gonna be doing is ironing on the butterfly to the black shirt. I read the WikiHow article on how to iron on something onto something else, and it said to put a towel over it so you don't burn the patch. We're gonna use this beach towel with a butterfly on it that I got when I was probably six. Coincidentally matching the shirt. It said to do it for 15 seconds, so let's see. One Mississippi. I got it on. Yay! Look how trendy that looks. Beautiful. Let's try the next thing. The next thing we will be ironing on are these flower patches onto this white tank top. So let's get started. Okay, that was really obnoxious, but we're gonna first turn off the iron so I don't set the house on fire, and then we're gonna crop it, and then that's gonna be the last DIY, and then you can go back to whatever you're doing in your life. This looks like something you got at some fancy store, but no, you got a $1 tank top from Walmart in 25 cent patches. So go do this. And now let's go have a fashion show of the two things that I just ironed on. And guess what? That's the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have fun. Maybe you're gonna go make some stuff. Maybe you're gonna go take out that iron and iron stuff. And like the video. Subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.